Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Fighting Game Freak Out. Today, we are playing the original Soul Calibur. And I'm gonna be playing Cervantes. Uh, which weapon should we use? Let's use... Let's use that weapon. Should we use the Player 2 costume? And it looks cool. We're gonna play Cervantes, and we're fighting Inferno. So, long story short, uh, I've recorded this episode several times, and oh my god, this looks beautiful. Yeah, Noldy C is awesome with graphics. Sometimes. The menu is still a little bit glitchy. Alright, so Inferno. Um, yeah. Basically, um, Cervantes wants revenge for- ah! Getting cursed in the last game, so he is going to kill Cervantes and get his sword back. <laughs> Why won't you accept me, Blade? Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, this is on ultra hard difficulty. I can show you, but basically, this guy is ouch. Uh, this guy is not at all a hard boss. Let me oh, okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you already can just shave off your entire health bar with one combo, that's cool. Alright. Let's do this. Final battle! And he's Lizard Man. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Okay, I'm trying to guard and hack things. Kind of a hard thing to do. Ah! Dang it! Okay. I might need to put maximum concentration on this. Who knows? Cervantes will get this done. Don't worry. He is super buff in this game. I think I should have been a pirate. I think I needed the pirate. The pirate power. Let's do it. Should I have been Metal Cervantes? That would have been cool. Oh, that would have been awesome, actually. Am I going to throw around just to be Metal Cervantes? No. A lot of lean. All right. Ah, okay. I'm gonna try to get one of these. Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, also, there's something fairly interesting about this game is that there's a. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I threw myself out of the ring! I'll stop. You know what's funny is that after that, Inferno also killed himself. Damn it! Okay, so in this version, um, he always starts out as Nightmare. However, in the arcade version, um, only in the first match you face him in does he ever start as a uh, nightmare. And after that, he's completely random all the time. And also, there was an arcade version in this game. It was heavily backed down from this version. I don't know. You guys have to kill him again. Nice! A man. No one can stop me. So yeah, let me tell you. Inferno is really easy. And he has killed. Amazing. What? I'm gonna try to kill him with this move alone. Even though it's, uh... Wait, what the- Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no! We're gonna do this! It's so hype! It's so hype when you get a dead rush. Okay, Cervantes. You look ugly. Alright, there you go. This is Inferno. Alright, well, definitely gonna be dying more than once. I think I'm contractually obligated to at least die one time. The only boss that has ever died once on either Maximilian's or mine's channel is a Dramatic Battle. <laughs> dramatic Battle Bison from uh, Alpha 3, which, you know, I might fight against Alpha 3 Bison at one point. I mean, I've already fought Street Fighter 2 Bison. But, you know, in the future I might fight Alpha 3. Oh! Okay. Okay, I was too far for any follow-ups. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I just have to... Cervantes. Ah, perfect! There you go. I'll see you in hell! Dude, Cervantes... Cervantes is cool, though, don't get me wrong. Oh my god, I almost threw myself out of the ring. Yeah, you threw yourself off the ring in front of me, idiot! Dude, that was funny. I dead rushed him and then he threw himself off the stage. What a misuse of Sophia. That was easy. That shit was easy. 
the long lost sword, at his one time master. He had reached toward the demon sword, now without a host, and the two became one once again. Our own figure appeared, clawing his way through the eternal flames of evil. Regaining a lost part of himself, his memories came flooding back, and the broken chain was now complete again. His ship spread fear across the seas once more, as even the warships of the great naval powers were sent down to their watery graves. Where's the anchor? Make me sail, me hearties! Cervantes de Leon sails again! And that's it! There you go. Congratulations, Soul Calibur! You are a true hero, and your legend will never die, but across the horizon, a new quest beckons your soul. And there we go, now the Soul Calibur. Yeah, this boss, finally, this is the the fourth time I think I've recorded this boss. Um, first two times on this version, and I, bo I killed them both once through the entire arcade mode. And the thing is, I could have fought a mission mode version of Inferno, but, you know, that'd be stupid because it's just, you know, it's hard only because there's bullshit effects added to it, and I wanted to be... I did that. I wanted it to be... To, fuck, I can't talk. I wanted it to be the pure, uh, unfiltered fight, and, you know, I'm glad I did this at Cervantes because I got this idea of, like, hey, why not he wants his revenge because he got possessed in the last game. Why not have him take his revenge in this one? Because he was playable. So that's what happened. Um, also because I really like Cervantes, he's, even though I can play him better in Soul Calibur 2, which, uh, I may or may not face Inferno in that version. Um, it's just open to, uh, it's open to, uh, it's open to whether you guys want me to do that or not. Um, I have the tools for it, I have a capture card, I can definitely do that. And you know what? Since this boss was super easy, this is gonna make the Christmas boss real or it's gonna make it real painful because the boss I'm fighting on Christmas is even harder, let me tell you. Because if you look up the letters CVS2 and number, I guess. There's one or two bosses you'll find there. There you go, produced by Namco. 1998, 1999. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna make me register my name because I did that lightning quick. The legend will or not. Die. Ah! Ah, I'm jumping at you. You won 50 points! That doesn't mean anything. Pan? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I guess we can see the, some of the names from the, uh, Safe file I got this from. What the hell? Okay. How? What? Oh my god. Wow, these are ridiculous times. A minute? Okay, there had to be. They had to. They had to use external stuff in order to get this. There's absolutely no way on earth you could get times this fast without using something. Without using some kind of cheating device. How are you doing a minute 32 with Taki? That's BS, if I ever heard it. Alright, so let's go to option, game options, ultra hard difficulty. Nothing higher. With that, there's nothing else I did. Uh, it's just regular old cell caliber for the for the Dreamcast. And this is the 100 percent file, so it has this title screen. And, yeah, let's go to the art gallery. Which, you know, it has a nice beautiful song. So yeah, we can look at, um, never mind, wrong page. There you go, he's right here. We can look at Cervantes in good detail. So, hope you all are ready for another boss coming out this Christmas. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires. Unless you're made of fire, then, you know, you cause forest fires everywhere you go. I feel sorry for you. I'll see y'all later. Hey guys! Uh, just wanted to throw this quick little something at you at the end. 
Uh, this isn't my video, but I found something really interesting. If you get up to Inferno in arcade mode, uh, there's a certain cutscene that plays with Shang Hua. Um, it's really cool, and I'd like to show you this. So, it's not my video. I'll put a link to it and a credit to the creator of it in the description. But, yeah, with that, uh, let's check out this cutscene, because I just want to throw out something special at the end. Uh, hope y'all stick around for the Christmas boss. I'll see y'all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.